Welcome to Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to check out UAI's Mind Studio. Mind Studio is meant to help you very quickly develop an AI model or chatbot. If you think about a lot of the applications I'm building, but also everyone else is building, they are ChatGPT wrappers, aka you have the OpenAI API and you have a standard sticker response and, and prompt and you are just asking the same thing over and over. Now, this isn't to make it sound like we're not doing anything. I think it takes time and energy to build the web page around it. It takes time and energy to create a prompt. Um, but it is a very standardized pipeline in which you are sending something to OpenAI, you are asking a similar set of questions, and you are exporting it out. Um, it can get very, very technical as we've seen with some very well done GPTs and, and Pobots and things like that. Um, so Mind Studio is meant to get as much of the coding away from it and to try and standardize that process with a no code platform. And better yet, unlike chat, unlike GPTs, you're not tied to a certain model. So this is unscripted. I haven't uh, dove deep into it yet, but uh, one example is you can choose whatever model you want. Um, you're, you're not limited to, you know, so far we have been using a lot of GPT, but if for some reason I want to use um, Mistral or, or Llama or Claude, um, Mind Studio should be, uh, allow you to swap those pieces out. So um, there's a documentation and I am going to go ahead and create a new AI. And we can start truly from scratch, or we can take a look at a template. Um, I think, I think a blog post generator uh, will start from a template to get a better understanding of it. I think a blog post generator is a pretty kind of standard looking flow. Um, so uh, we can add data sources. Uh, I think what that means is um, we can upload files to it. So um, this will deal with all of the rag um, retrieval, retrieval uh, augmented Shoot, what does that stand for? Um, but the idea of pulling the right document. So if you have a knowledge base of some sort, you have a lot of articles about how to write good blog posts, you can upload them into here or samples of your existing blog posts, you can upload them here. Uh, functions, I'm assuming, um, this means that we can actually inject some code into it as well. So if we have standardized um, pipelines that, that we go through. So every time, uh, say I enter a date, I want it to be transformed somehow. Uh, for blog posts, I can't see too many of these things happening. But if I was using it for some other purpose, so for example, if I'm using this to create tables and charts and reformatting numbers, uh, this could provide some standardized um, input. Uh, user inputs, I, I assume this is where we have a form of some sort to collect everything that um, that we're looking for. So in this case, keywords, input, call to action, we want them to uh, sign up and subscribe. We have keywords this time, I want to hit um, you know, AI, open AI, uh, what else is popular right now, Anthropic. Elon Musk, um, and then just a couple of different pieces here. Now, um, the key point here is the prompt. And so you can see they have created type of um, generator here. Let's take a look, automation. So we're gonna go to start. I don't know what this menu is. 
Um, but more importantly, we can choose a different model. So in this case, uh, Claude 2 is now outdated, so Claude 3. Um, let's go with the Sonnet model. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's preview the draft and see how that looks. Very cool, you have um, a walkthrough here. Okay, you don't care. I think this is where where we start. So I need a blog post. What should it be about? Uh, the advances of AI in the past six months. Keywords, uh, Elon Musk, we said, Open AI, EU AI Act. What else is there? Claude, Anthropic, Sam Altman. Next. So any kind of random point. And so these were the fields that we were talking. Subscribe to the site. Um, this doesn't actually, uh, subscribe to the unscripted coding YouTube channel to learn that. Care. So while it's generating, um, let's take a look here. Um, So the user inputs, these are the menu items basically. And so we saw each of these, the call to action, the band words. Um, where I want to see is here, when we choose a menu, we get to choose between a blog post or a blog post ideas. And for now, let's look at the blog post only. And we'll zoom in. Mm -hmm. How do I? There we go. Um, so we're going to have step by step. And here we can collect a new user input. We can send more messages. So this is a very standard kind of form creation. Now, what I'm very confused about is how we move left and right. But that is fine. Um, let's come back here and here is a nice blog post for us. Mm, November, 2022, that goes back pretty far, but overall that works pretty good. So, um, if I wanted to change this prompt. we can um, edit this. So I, I'm i struggling to think of anything I might want to add, but uh, there really isn't. But let's, let's take out the SEO optimization um, and then change a tone to uh, witty, satirical, and funny. And once again, I'm going to change model and you'll see that this one, we originally looked at the menu flow, but now we're looking at the blog post flow. And so you can actually swap to different models. And I'm just thinking right off the bat here, this menu, I can split out to different models. So um, one thing I do quite frequently is 
um, try and create a piece of text and run it through GPT and also Gemini just to see the different results. And so one thing we could do is split this off into, into different models. So in this case, I wanted to, again, um, I am quite enamored with Claude 3 right now. It's the new kind of hot thing. So, um, wonder why they gave us a bunch of these, remove this. But while we're at it, please I, uh, edit it, just to see that we have made those. Now we'll just preview it again, take a look. Well, I'll generate a new one, this time blog post again. Uh, and we're just being very quick here. Um, with a very random topic. And you'll see that the edit we did right here is, is fine. Subscribe to the unscripted coding YouTube channel. Okay, we'll let it run on the back. Um, so I think most of this is a very, very obvious as to what it's trying to do. What I wanted to learn more about are the functions. Okay, I think this makes sense now. So if I were to insert a step in between here and run, run a function, oops, uh, let's see, we can select an untitled function and we'll come here. Uh, this is JavaScript code, and I'm realizing we could do a lot here. We don't need to transform data, but we could fetch brand new data. So um, the user inputs, for example, uh, uh, a date and a location, we could fetch weather data. And so we can connect to an API um, that provides real time information. We could talk about Bitcoin prices or stock prices or something. Um, to, to inject in between and take that uh, output and, and pass it along. But let's take a look here. Is YouTube a gold mine or a money pit? And here we go. Um, so I think that's about all I wanted to see. This actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. And I think it'll be worthwhile to dive deeper, but I just wanted to play around with the interface and see what we can do uh, w within this this uh, builder. And I'm, I'm seeing something very, very useful here. Um, but unfortunately, I think everything has to be tied to their own interface, their own, um, Yeah, so I, I, I think you'll get a page on their site rather than your your own. And then, of course, they want you to pay for various things. So um, very interesting to build. And I think this is a great alternative to chat GP, uh, sorry, GPTs on, on chat GPT. And I think this is something that we're going to get used to soon, that a lot of apps are going to just be these chatbots or these LLMs packaged in different ways. Now, a lot of folks might call them chat GPT wrappers, deriv 
to, to make fun of them, but um, I think there is a lot of value. So this blog post generator, very simple to build, but can be incredibly useful and valuable in a lot of places. And you think about all the things you do day to day, lots of these will come up. Anyways, I hope you found that interesting, and I will see you next week for another project.